Good morning and welcome. I am Sandra Tillman from Abney Chapel Seventh Day Adventist Church here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Today is January 2nd, 2023. Our topic for today is coming from Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son to redeem us which are under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Now our title is about a teacher sent from God. And it kind of captivates Galatians 4 because it talks about how he redeems us through the power of his father, not of his own will, but through the power of his father. We need to understand that by the time Jesus came into the world, darkness and sin had literally prevailed. Not only had it prevailed, but it had marred truth's image so much that it could not be seen on earth. But let me tell you one thing about truth. You can burn it. We can cut it. We can even chop it down. But I want us to understand one thing about this truth that was marred by sin and darkness. Truth has a root, and that root is rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and our Redeemer. You see, spiritual darkness rules over our world, and it even ruled religious leaders. I want you to hear me. But Jesus, even though sin was ruling our world, Christ made a conscious purpose to come into this world to put a halt and an end to spiritual darkness or spiritual wickedness in high places. You see, divinity and humanity had to unite and the only way that could happen, Christ had to be the bridge between us, humanity, and Father divinity. Christ was first to come to the human race. He was also the head of the human race. He's our elder brother. And he was the only one capable and able enough to rectify us to the Father through his life, death, and resurrection. It was essential for him to come. Because he was the only one, Christ that is, that was able to uplift mankind to the Father. He was the only one qualified to reveal God to the world. Christ volunteered. Remember the topic is a teacher sent from God. Christ volunteered to lay down his royal robe and his priestly crown. He didn't have to do that. But because of his redeeming love, we would never understand it. But because he did these things, he wanted to show us how we, through his grace and mercy, could become one with the Father and cooperate with the Father. Through the power of Jesus Christ, we can live a sinless life. Through his life, death, and resurrection, and our willingness to follow his guidance, we can live a sinless life. And that was his purpose of coming into this world, not only to reveal and destroy the root of spiritual darkness and sin, but his ultimate purpose was to show us how to live a sinless life through the power of not only of his redeeming love, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much that Christ willingly came to show us how to live. He willingly came to show us how to be one with the Father 
And for that reason, we can come boldly to your throne because Christ has bridged that gap between divinity and humanity. And we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray. Amen.